Hey folks, it is Spencer here with Spencer's Botanical Spotlight. Very excited today. I got a uh, gift from Happy Hippo to review some of their products, give my honest opinion and take on them. And first off, what I love is, I just opened this just to kind of see what I'm dealing with. What I love is the, how personalized it is. So here's the invoice. Ooh, let's get it down there. Yeah, there we go. Ash. It shows you who it was boxed by or packaged by, which is really, really nice. I like, I like that. Uh, you know, with some of the small vendors, you you know who it is, uh, so it's, it's nice. So it's it's nice to have a larger uh, kratom organization have that personal touch to it. So let's go ahead and break into it. There is a bunch of goodies in here to to see. I'm excited. I've never tried Happy Hippo before. I've heard good things, but never tried it myself. Oh, this is cool. So a, uh, a shaker bottle. I have needed one of these. So thank you to the folks over at Happy Hippo. And just saying I'm not being paid for this. Uh, they offered to send me these things uh, for my honest opinion. And I told them if I don't like it, I will say so. So I'm in no way affiliated or being paid to uh, sponsor this company. But I will be giving my honest opinion over the coming uh, days as I try their products. All right. So we have all the Kratom packets, that has a lot of Kratom. I really appreciate this. So let's go down here first. Let's see, I have a White Horned Rhino, or I guess White Horn. Um, I can't, I can't tell if it's an extract or not. Um, it doesn't say extract on it, but it's a very tiny sample and usually uh, the extracts have that on there, but so a white horn kratom and a uh, white vein tie kratom. Okay, that's really cool. And I have heard things about these, and I will be reviewing these very soon. Uh, they are kratom uh, hippo poppers, so they're like the rock candy that you throw in your mouth, and it you know does the little pop 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 in your in your throat. Uh, it's similar to those, but it's Kratom. It has four grams of nitrogynine in it, so it's kind of a light a light dose, but definitely cool to have it in a candy form. I'm excited to try it. Uh, it definitely beats the, the nasty taste of Kratom. Some people like it. And then we have, uh, I'm not sure if I'll like this, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, there is Kratom Taffy. That is very cool. Let's see how much Kratom is in this. Doesn't say exactly, but probably not much because the Mitragynine level is only 20 milligrams in one of these, or two of these, sorry. So these are cool. I'm, I'll, I'm always fascinated with people making uh, edibles, edible Kratom, because the, the edible market is so huge with, with marijuana. I'm, I'm excited to see uh, what more companies do with, uh, with, with, with Kratom as, as it becomes more, uh, popular, uh, more popular and more mainstream. All right, so here are the batches that they gave me. All right, so let's see. Uh, Magic Hippo, which is a uh, red vein, and it says there, slow, so it's has pretty good labeling there for people. And there's a QR code on the back to get to their website. I'll be adding their website uh, down below. And it says down here, for adults 21 only. That's interesting. I Most states is 18 and older, so I guess where they're from is 21. Let's see. Boom. I probably could have gotten that out a little bit better. Uh, this one is a top shelf Bali. It's a green vein Bali. So that'll be interesting to try. I know I'm just kind of half haphazardly, half haphazardly putting it on the ground. Uh, a ghost hippo, which is a white Borneo. I never had a white Borneo before. So there's that. I need to have this closer to my desk. Now I can just put things back there, but it sucks. I'm going to fall back there and get it. Oh, okay, that's awesome. They sent me a, uh, so I have two of these, uh, two of the hippo uh, poppers. That's awesome. That's cool. I'm really excited to try that. Uh, I, I think the good thing about the, the hippo poppers is it's a, it's a good way to, especially if it works well, it's a good way to introduce people to Kratom because a lot of people don't like it because of the taste. Um, they just can't stand it. So the hippo poppers is a good way to get people into it. Depending if it works very well. I'll, I'll, I'll find it out when I review it. Uh, Sunshine Hippo. It's a yellow vein mangda. I've never had yellow, but I know it's very similar to gold kratom. And let's 
see what else we have. Uh, let's, I, I feel like I got two of these. Lightning Hippo, I think I already did that earlier, which is a white vein, white, white vein thigh. Yeah, I think I already did this one. I think I just had this one earlier. Not taking it, but down there. Um, and then the last one is Tickle Me Pink Hippo. Pink Mang Da. I've never heard of Pink Mang Da. This is actually, I'm going to try this first, just how unique it is. That is very, very, very funny. Well, I did see, uh, whenever I was looking at this, they do include a spoon. I don't know what the milligram is on it. It said it on here, I think. No, it, I don't know. It said I saw the spoon somewhere. I, I don't know where it went though. Like where the, uh, I probably won't use this myself just because I have my own dosing, um, but it is good for them to uh, include the spoon. But I'm very excited about trying a shaker bottle. I've wanted to try one of these for for a while. It beats having to uh, stir the kratom and have that mess and then you can take it to go so I'm very very excited to try this so again thank you to the folks over at lucky or not lucky herbals thanks to the folks over at hip happy hippo I almost called them lucky hippo uh, looking very forward to uh, trying these and I'm gonna be leaving their channel down into the description be sure to check them out and again not in affiliated any way uh, or shape or form or being paid uh, but I look forward to review them all right thanks folks